Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Doo. I've got the perfect puzzle for you. Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. What do you get when that person is lazy? Finding it hard to overcome sloth. What do you do when that person is fat? Tell them to go on a diet. Do, 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 do. Um, apologies um, to uh, the fat community. Uh, that was extremely offensive. I didn't mean, uh, you know, to... I was just trying to parody Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I wasn't, uh, you know, intending to shame anyone. Uh, so, yeah. A lot's been going on in the world. Um, less since the, uh, ending of the reign of the Trump. It's over. Trump's tweets don't matter anymore, people. I know, old news, it's been, it's, it's already been a long time. Trump's gone. He may run in 2024, he may not, but Trump's gone. We don't have to listen to his tweets, we don't have to care about what he does. He had to finally hand over his taxes to the New York State Attorney. So, I mean, that's going to be hilarious. Wasn't Trump, like, criticizing Hillary in 2016 uh, for, like, not releasing her taxes, like, soon enough while she was the vice president? Now Trump, it takes him getting out of office before he's finally forced to show his taxes. I don't know, the hypocrisy of it. Don't get me started on that. So, um, but Biden is not fulfilling his campaign promises. Like the, the one, he, he, he fulfilled one, which was his day one executive orders. You know, the one thing where he basically just undid Trump's executive orders and it requires literally no political capital to do so. So it's like, uh, Biden is... I mean, you know, it's what it is. There's fucking interests talking in his ear. Lobbyists, um, special interests, and you know, there's progressives that are that are whispering in his ear as well. I mean, like you, you have your Rashida Tlaibs and your AOCs and your Ilhan Omar's, um, your Bernie Sanders is like, I mean, he's listening. I mean, he's at least hearing those people, but it's like, you know, okay, so what you heard them? Great. Hearing it doesn't really matter. Does it? You're supposed to do something progressive. Where are the stimulus checks for the pandemic? Right? They ran. He ran on $2,000 stimulus checks, which is still much less than what other countries have done. France and Canada have had um, monthly payments um, to, to people. But anyway, you ran on $2,000 checks. The Georgia runoff people ran on $2,000 checks. Uh, Ossoff and uh, the other guy, Wernock? Or was Wernock the guy Ossoff was running against? I don't know. But the two Georgian Democrat senators were running on $2,000 checks. The election's won. 
immediately. Oh, did we say 2,000? We meant 1,400 plus the 600 you already got is a total of 2,000. Okay, fine. Deficit, whatever. The Republicans are supposed to be the ones that care about the deficit, not the Democrats, but that's something else. And now what? It's fucking uh, almost March in a day or two, and there's still no even a $1,400 check. So, I mean, that would help a lot of people. It would help me. Shit. They can't even get the $1,400 checks with a majority in the Senate, with a majority in the House, with the presidency. They can't even get $1,400 checks with all of that. What is that? Well, the truth is they can do it through budget reconciliation. The reason that we don't, don't have it isn't because they can't do it. It's because they don't want to do it. You know, because the Democrat Party, Democratic Party, is not the party of the people to a significantly larger degree than the Republican Party is. I mean... As far as the Republican Party displays outright contempt to working people who are not white, the Democratic Party is not even much better than that. Maybe they're, they're a, a degree better in that respect, but not much more than that. Which is why I voted for Biden in the first place, the lesser of two evils. You know, you have a complete contempt for uh, working people or utter disregard. Well, I'll take disregard over contempt. And that's why I voted for, for the Democrat. It feels like the lesser of two evils. I know for a fact it is. I mean, you just, just look at what happened it, from 2016 to 2020 with Donald Trump, if you want proof of that. What would have been different with President Bernie Sanders? Oh, it would have been so much better. Biden's like escalating tensions in Syria or some bullshit. I don't know. Oh my god. Alright, well that's my little politics rant for now. Um, it's fucking bullshit, man. Politics. Shit.